I'm Ali from the Muhyiddin Scout Group. Um, so we have this project called Muraka Kudin. So it literally like translates to coral kids. So it's a collaboration between us, Muhyiddin Scout Group, um, with Herefordshire Scouts from UK. So it's a beautiful day today. We would like to start as how we do it always. And we also have two amazing local partners, Save the Beach, um, who gives their expertise in this area, who moreover runs day-to-day -day sessions. And then we, we have Mudibula Dive Center who provides us with the necessary equipments and also they sponsor um, dive courses so that they, they, some of our kids get trained to open water where they, they have the right skills to go and do what we do. I joined this project two years ago. At first, I don't know how to swim. I, I'm really bad at swimming and I have this fear for the ocean. But throughout this project, I have learned how to swim, how to count the fishes, and I have learned how to embrace our coral reefs and the importance of them. And I think because of our project, many of our parents have learned that these projects are really good and that we need to start similar projects. And many people are, have been inspired by us. And that was a really good accomplishment for me personally. I have always been interested in conserving the uh, ocean and conserving the island. And I thought this project would help. So I participated and also some of my friends were participating too. So I wanted to be part of this uh, collective and help our uh, Vilimala community. At first we go to our site and then we do weekly motorings. We check how it grows and we take pictures and also there's a machine scale. We will know right if the corals are bleached by looking at them. So we bring those corals and cut it from a machine and then plant it again. So the percentage of being bleached would decrease because if one coral is bleached it would spread like a virus. So because we did this our many of our corals have been saved in the recent years. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for those corals. It's our existence. Young people are at the heart of this climate crisis but they are also the most hopeful in the crisis. UNICEF provides this opportunity for the young people to be heard, for them to be engaged, and for them to meaningfully contribute to climate action. I would like to tell other people who are interested to first go off by swimming, and then read about the coral reefs, what they do to, do to us. You will love it at some point. <laughs>